So, oh, just the the um, tension that was in that rhythm. There, <laughs> excuse me. Mm. I just, mm. I, it, my, a big show tonight, really big show tonight. And this is actually a big show uh, because we've got uh, a whiskey unboxing and I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, it's a Kayo whiskey from Japan and a few surprises here that uh, we'll figure out what they are together. So um, I like to start with the whiskey. So let's cut to that. Camera two. Take the um, wrapping off the oak that meets you on the top is absolutely beautiful. We'll get a close-up shot of that. Um, this is a, a whiskey that is special in a few ways. Um, it is aged in Japanese Mizunara oak, um, and uh, that it's if you if you haven't seen what that oak tree looks like, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll try to post a picture. Uh, in the video if I can, but um, it, I was very surprised to see this oak uh, top um, greet me as I, uh, as I unwrapped um, for the opening. So really, really cool there, uh, especially knowing that this was aged in uh, Mizunara oak. Um, again, very beautiful tree. The color of pores is, is a really nice amber. Um, not too dark. Uh, it might have something to do with the lighting that is in here. Uh, might be different if um, I was pouring this in the lounge. Um, but really, really happy with uh, the way it looks. Mm, almost floral in a way. Floral, not very strong in terms of uh, peatiness. Um, very pleasant. All right. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow. Just a slight heat on the very end there after the, uh, the, the swallow. Wow. That is really, really good. I, I almost didn't expect it. I've never had a, a Kayo, uh, before, um, really nice little legs that it's leaving on the glass here. So I think it's going to be a really good night. And, uh, Wow. One more sip. This is amazing. Mm. Took a smaller sip there. Um, and just to really kind of savor that experience. Um, a little bit of pepper, black pepper towards the end. It's almost like a tea like quality, uh, through you know, halfway through. So I'm really enjoying this. It's not too sweet. Um, uh, does drink kind of like a scotch. Um, all right. It's going to be great. So, put this over here and be careful not to uh, uh, get any whiskey on our friends over on the side here. But uh, all right, I'm very excited. I think we should start with, uh, I guess, what's closest to me. And um, again, uh, a similar size box to uh, what we had last week. So I don't know if it's going to be, um, yeah, I don't think it's a wallet, although I think what, so, so what's cool to me is Hermes has a lot of different sizes of, of boxes. So these two things you would think, um, you know, you hear about a lot of companies that try to reduce the number of um, uh, items that they carry, and that includes packaging. 
But what's really cool here is these are two different size boxes. And again, the um, ribbon, I've come to learn from some of folks that have sent me messages. These are not called strings. They're also not called uh, uh, rope. The, this, this is Hermes ribbon. As I look at it, Hermes is written. Obviously, this box is right side up. Um, the uh, words on the ribbon are exactly the same way. That's just such a nice touch. And that's true for these two boxes as well. Um, I'm so excited. So I think I had this one in my hand first. Uh, but uh, again, very interesting that there's two similar size boxes. This one almost looks like a, mm, I don't know. I want to say four by five, but it doesn't look like a four by five, uh, you know, photo printout. This would maybe a four by six, I believe. Uh, but anyway, you know, you can talk to your essay about the box sizes if you want. I'm sure they'll be very interested. Um, okay, so let's start with this one. And uh, maybe we want to do a close up. So, camera two. Uh, Oh my goodness. That was, I, I think that was one of the, the funnest unboxings I've done. Um, I had no idea what was going to be in here. This is a, um, uh, a coin purse and it is in, um, the color is called broom. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, that might be the French word for mist, but I'd have to double check on that. Cause this is almost like a very, very light blue. Um, I can't tell on this light. I, I'd love to check this out um, outside tomorrow um, in the daylight if we're not getting um, a week of, of rain here in Raleigh. Um, but it, it, it is a, a blue. I don't know if you can tell, it's a very light blue, almost lighter than a a uh, Carolina blue is something that we reference here and uh, where we live. It actually contrasts really well with like the dining table because the dining table yeah. is light. Yeah, and, and you know, that's what's interesting is when I first unboxed it, um, I thought it was white. I thought it was white leather, but it's actually uh, broom under really bright lighting. Um, it does, to me, look white, but then I was, I was paying attention to the stitching on the outside. Stitching is white, uh, but it contrasted so much with what I thought was white um, for the leather. I said, that's not quite white. That must be something else. Uh, so it is a very light blue. It does contrast with our dining table, which is a pure white. Um, and at first I was like, well, this white has taken on a lot of blue uh, from the light around us, but it's actually the leather. It's a very um, delicate, very uh, faint blue. 
and it's what Hermes calls broom. Uh, and I think broom means mist in a French, but it's been about, uh, maybe 20 years since I've taken a French class. So would this excuse be me. beautiful in a Kelly 20? It, it would, it would, uh, <laughs> it would. I really, I actually, I really do think so. Let's actually put this up against the box and here from my perspective, I can definitely see, um, that, that it is a light blue. I didn't want that to, uh, uh, fall. Um, it definitely looks blue to me now. Uh, almost looks like a, you know, really bright sky. Um, maybe a sky that, that was misting. So I do like the name there. And when I opened it up, I picked it up. The, the hardware is really nice. Um, you know, I know, uh, you know, hardware isn't as big of a part, um, uh, these smaller bags, but, really amazing the uh, precision because at the end of this um, zipper is an H and I absolutely love that. I hope it catches on camera. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do for camera two uh, to do a close up uh, as I was unboxing. Uh, I couldn't contain my excitement. Um, so if this were, you know, we were doing it, um, uh, with, with me in the shot, I was basically giddy. Um, but the H as the light hit it, <laughs> it was amazing. I couldn't wait to, to unzip it. Um, this, the little, um, leather pull is extremely nice as well. And from what I can see, the stitching on the pull actually matches the stitching for the rest of the bag, but surprise because you know, Hermes wouldn't not have any surprises when you open it the silk and this is silk on the inside it's a very durable silk um when i first opened it up i said what what fabric or what material is that um because it looks very durable and unlike most silks like this the silks i have for most of my shirts i'm just wearing a t-shirt tonight but most of my silk shirts um uh, it is what you would imagine would you know is is a usual silk but the silk in this is very, very high quality. It's, it's a very thick, relatively speaking, thick silk. Um, but the stitching in here is pink and it matches the pink in the uh, pattern, uh, for the silk inside and really, really beautiful pattern. Um, at first glance, I almost want to say it looks like, um, uh, hops or barley and, you know, just, it must have been the uh, alcohol in my mind, uh, but it's a really wonderful illustration, and I can almost see the. Um, it's actually, if you look very closely, it's a horse, a horse uh, that's in this illustration, um, and and you can see kind of the braid of the the horses um, here. So on this tab, and I actually I'm not very familiar, so I, I tried to catch that in the camera what the tab says. It does say Hermes, uh, Paris, made in France. But then there's a, what looks like to me, the letter C with a circle around it. So it almost looks like a, a copyright symbol. Um, I, it, and then it says Hermes after that. So um, interesting to me that Hermes would copyright uh, the tab inside. But I, I'm curious what that really actually does mean. And I'm also pleased to see that this bag is stamped on the, the back side of the tab. And it is stamped with um, a DB. So um, every uh, bag for for the first first timers, every bag is crafted by a craftsperson. Um, and for those of you that uh, have been with their mess for a while, and you know exactly why that's stamped on the back of that tab. There. Um, so absolutely beautiful. I, I love this. Um, I I don't I don't carry any change on me. And actually, as I'm opening this. Um, really cool inscription, um, on the back of the, the, the zipper it says M4. So I almost wonder what M4 means. If there's any significance there. So if we figure it out, I'll put it, put it in the notes of the video. Um, but from this perspective, really, really cool how the zipper meets the H on the inside. The H um, that you can see on the outside of the, um, zipper, uh, is the same exact thing as you look in here. So, uh, this is for change. Um, I don't carry any change even uh, pre COVID times. I, I never carried any change on me, but this almost makes me want to carry change. Um, this is 
my, my wife ordered this. I think she'll probably carry. Um, what, what would you carry in here? Jewelry. Uh, jewelry. Jewelry or um, a friend suggested condoms. Well, um, you could carry <laughs> whatever you like in here. I would be careful with the, uh, if, if you can see, let me get uh, on camera here. If you can see there is a small little kind of section where the fabric doesn't quite go all the way. I don't know if that, hopefully that focuses okay. Um, so I would be careful with uh, the size of the jewelry you carry in this. Um, I don't think you have to worry about the size of the condom. If you have uh, a condom that can sneak its way past um, that little uh, hole that I showed you, uh, there may be other issues that um, are going on there, uh, such as placement of the condom. Um, so if, again, if you do, it is a great size for condom. Uh, so uh, kudos to the friend that suggested that. Um, but again, jewelry, be careful. Change should be okay. Um, again, I don't carry change. If I were to use this, I would carry maybe pieces of chocolate uh, if it weren't too warm outside. And if you're not, I definitely don't suggest sitting on this um, because the, the shape is just too, I would slip this into maybe um, perfect. Actually, the pairing of this is, is absolutely wonderful um, for me, at least. Uh, you know, the, the hardware, I think it's a little bit different, um, but I think I, I really do like the contrast of the broom um, with the um, uh, Kelly Pochette uh, that we had unboxed last week. So, you know, if you had that in there, pulled it out um, with the chocolate, uh, you know, if it's not too hot uh, in Asia, definitely the humidity uh, during most months, your chocolate may melt and you're not probably carrying too much chocolate in here. I know in North Carolina, the temperature reaches uh, around 100 during the summer. We're heading into the fall um, and I really actually do love this color for the fall. I think this is actually great year round. Um, great for the summer, obviously. Uh, I think it's a nice little pop for the fall, especially, I hope uh, my wife Anna carries this, the, the Kelly Pochette um, in the fall. It's a really nice uh, color for that season, but then having a nice splash when you pull this out, the contrast is very nice. Um, again, chocolate, not too much you can carry in here. I would carry a chocolate, uh, uh, chocolate with a higher uh, cocoa percentage, less milk so that you don't melt uh, in this absolutely beautiful silk. So whatever you drink at home as you're unboxing uh, could be, again, I highly suggest, I, I really, really like, I think this is going to be, the Cayo Whiskey is going to be um, my pairing for a, a, a while. Um, we've got a few more whiskeys to unbox. I got a couple in today, especially um, had an art bag come in, which is, uh, I'm a huge fan, as you will come to find out on, on my channel, of Eyelate Whiskeys. Um, so I actually can't wait to, to maybe pair that with another unboxing that is a um, art bag black uh, um, that had just won a few medals uh, in Europe. But um, whatever it is that you drink, it could be a, a coffee, it could be a tea, uh, maybe it's a boba uh, uh, tea, um, maybe it's a matcha. Um, whatever it is, just make sure you really take in the moment as you unbox. These are very finely crafted um, leather goods very finely crafted beverages. And I think you just really have to take in that, uh, that moment. Um, uh, you deserve it. So as I was actually looking down, um, I'm wearing a Seiko, uh, presage automatic and, um, one of my favorite watches, uh, I, I tend to wear, um, grand Seiko's or, um, Seiko presages, um, as I'm looking at the dial, I would absolutely love, and I hope, uh, I hope I can borrow this uh, coin purse for you for my chocolates. Um, but I would actually love, and just pulling this out, and just it just pairs so well with the watch. The watch takes on, um, you know, the sunburst style takes on a little bit of blue sometimes, especially when you're outside, and and um, uh, definitely with the, the the many facets in this watch. And the sunburst style really goes well with um, uh, this coin purse. I think that the leather, if, if it matched, would be really nice, but I can't ask for too much. Um, 
very beautiful pairing. I'm very happy right now. So let's let's move on. I spent a lot of time on this. Um, let's have these friends meet here. I'm going to take one more sip. Mm. Having a really good time. I hope you're enjoying this video. So this one, camera two, you can hold steady for now. Um, this is a, uh, this, I've seen this box many times. I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit thin for a wallet, so I don't know what's in here. We'll figure it out together. So whoever uh, does this time just does a really, really good job. I, I wish I could could learn it. So for especially from uh, for during the holidays. Okay, so let's put this um, ribbon down here, and let's see what we have. Okay, I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> this, I, I don't know. Did you order this on purpose for this unboxing? Of course not. Okay. All right. The reason I'm laughing is you have to go back and watch uh, last week's episode. Um, we unboxed a, a, a shoe, a shoe, what I call it, a size 0.2 shoe. And uh, I, <laughs> this is, and I, I think I had made a comment. I don't know if I can uh, find that uh, footage. Yeah, just go back and watch it again to see what I'm talking about. Um, I said, if we only had the other shoe uh, to it, and uh, well, it's so okay. This is what we had last week. It is a oh, th these are different. So it is a, um, a a charm. These are charms. These aren't actually shoes because, as I mentioned last week. Uh, I'm so happy. Um, there is obviously leather tied to the sole of the sandal uh, or the heel. Uh, I don't know my shoe terms. I, I made a comment. If only we had the other shoe. Uh, we we now have two shoes, uh, and that's what I was laughing uh, because um, I didn't expect that. I, I almost expected it to be a, a wallet. Uh, for me or, or, or something, but I'm so happy right now. We have two shoes and, um, Hermes lovers at home. I would almost suggest it'd be kind of cute to have two shoes. If you're uh, tying these to, um, uh, a larger, uh, bag. So absolutely beautiful. The one we've got tonight, um, is in a, uh, noir, simply calling it black which obviously for our French speakers, it's black for you. Um, but simply calling it black in English is, is not enough. Keep with tradition, noir, and it's repeated throughout, you know, the bottom of this. And again, I don't recommend really trying to, you know, when I was growing up, we had these things, we had these little mini skateboards. We would kind of put our fingers on and just kind of skateboard around. I don't recommend doing this. This is, this is, this is a charm, you know, put this on the bag, Put two on the bag if it's um, uh, uh, you know larger, a little bit, a little bit of a larger bag. I think I, that's a really good idea. I've never yeah. heard of that or seen it before. Yeah, I, I would, I wouldn't necessarily do two. I mean, this is essentially a clutch here. I don't know if I would do two on this, um, but uh, you know, if you've got a, a, a Kelly um, twenty, uh, maybe um, you know a Birkin. Um, I would, I would consider doing two, try out one. And if you like, if you like one, um, you can't go wrong with ordering another one. So <laughs> absolutely love these. I think these are very cute, uh, especially going into uh, the fall season and definitely the holiday season. I absolutely love these. So very, very happy. And as I was actually talking through that, um, and thinking about, you know, having these friends join each other over here. My mind kept coming back, obviously, to the whiskey, which I'm going to pour myself another one before we get to a big box over here. Uh, but my mind just really kept wandering back to uh, the coin purse. So the, a, a, a glint had caught my eye, uh, very shiny um, pull here, the, the silver hardware that's on this, this zipper. And I mentioned earlier, I just re I really... I want to make this mine. I'm, I'm sorry. You can have it. Um, thank you. I'll, I'll get you another one. Uh, but I, I absolutely love, I almost want to wear this watch 
and carry this coin purse all the time. Um, Seiko is known for what's called a Zaratsu um, polishing on their watches, on, on their presages. Um, have it. The, the Grand Seikos definitely have the Zeratsu uh, polishing, which has uh, actually been made in uh, or used in sword making for many generations. It's almost a timeless practice by the Japanese. Um, a mirror finish, um, almost almost like diamond cutting, um, but it's a very traditional uh, polishing technique, and I think it would go very well with a sunburst style. And um, you know. I could carry a small piece of chocolate. I don't think I'll be carrying any condoms in this myself. Hopefully not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, maybe um, wet naps. You know, we could use a you know wet naps now, sanitizing wipes, things of that nature. No condoms for me. Many chocolates for me. So put this over here, and um, I'm gonna pour myself another whiskey. Really fun night for me tonight. Really fun night. So. Whatever you're drinking at home, I'd love to hear. I'm on an absolute high. I just, I've said this a few times in this video, but um, the amazing Kayo, um, we had two uh, left or two right shoes. Um, and I'm just absolutely infatuated by this um, coin purse. And I, again, I, I don't carry a, a wallet too often especially now that we're staying at home and um, I usually go, uh, go cashless. Um, uh, but I'm absolutely riding on cloud nine right now. So let's, let's do something in the comment section below. Um, what are you unboxing and what are you unpairing it with? Or what are you pairing it with? Um, I, I, I'd love to hear and, and, uh, have a conversation about that. So, um, very excited about this. I have no clue what it is. Um, from my perspective here, I don't think it's a, a bag uh, because it's um, it's pretty. It's not too much depth to it, and I don't think um, a bag is in here just because of you know it could fit a bag, but with all the cushioning and and um, protection that usually comes inside, I don't think it's a bag. And my wife hasn't told me um, what's in here. But again, everything is absolutely lined up, um, right side up, Hermes Paris, Hermes Paris, Hermes Paris. Um, and absolutely, if I measure this with a, uh, haven't been in school in a long time, I don't know, the compass or whatever it's used to call, please in the section, comment section below, whatever you measure a corner with, um, probably 90 degrees. So. Okay, let's see what's in here, and I'll try my best to capture this on camera because I, I really I want you to um, we'll, we'll get close-ups of everything. Don't worry about that. Um, but during the unboxing, I think it's I think it's important to um, just be in the frame. So, oh, just the the um, tension that was in that ribbon. There, <laughs> excuse me. Mm. I just, mm. I, in my, in my head, I thought when I, when I pulled that, you got to drink to that. You absolutely have to drink to that. The ten, it just, that's a fleeting moment. Everything about this, just a series of small, short, fleeting moments that I'm glad we're capturing on camera. I'm glad you all capture it on camera. Those, that, those of you that do and upload it to YouTube. Um, because these moments you can't, and, and so thankful, uh, grateful for my wife who lets me unbox these things, because this is a very absolute special moment. I don't know what's in here. Yeah, okay. nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> I get to do all the unboxings. Um, so I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, shameless plug here, because we'll do a lot of these. And um, what makes these fun is, is having, um, you know, a group of, of friends and a, a consistent group of um, like-minded folks that do enjoy um, these things because it's it's really great to talk about and, and follow up with once we um, actually get past the unboxing. So in the later episodes, um, we'll go into finer detail about all of these products and maybe um, I put our two, uh, two right feet on uh, a couple of the bags that we have. So 
Okay, so let's see what this says. Here we go. The top is coming off, and I absolutely, I did an unboxing um, yesterday of the new Galaxy Note 20 Ultras by Samsung. Absolutely, absolutely amazing hardware. Uh, you would almost think it's a, a Seiko Zeratsu finishing on the phones, but poor, poor packaging, very poor packaging. So I'm so glad I'm doing this the night after because I was so unhappy with um, the retail boxing on, on those Samsungs, but can't blame them. But that was a $1,300 phone plus tax plus, you know, all that stuff. And you almost uh, expect a, a better, just a whole experience. So um, I want to just keep that in a safe place. Okay. So what do we have here? Um, this weighs net weight, maybe four pounds. Um, I don't know what the kilograms on that is. Sorry for our international viewers. And I think a pound is different in, in certain countries, but don't buy the American pound. So, oh, oh, I see what's in here. <laughs> I, I think I know what that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me confirm because I don't know, it could be something else. I, I'm pretty sure I, st I see the, the incredible stitching. You have to see in the close up the stitching on this. I mean, because you, we see the stitching on the bags, absolute world-class. No one else can do it better than Hermes, the stitching on the bags, but this is, this is something else. This is something else. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Y'all, pause. Camera two, turn yourself off. Camera one, you can keep running. Oh my goodness. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. September, October, you can't come sooner. But I, I don't want to rush it. Our son is, is a little under seven months old. As parents, you always... You, you, you catch yourself saying, I can't wait until he walks. I can't wait until he's able to enjoy this or that. You can wait. You can wait. Seven months old. He squeals. He screeches in our ears. I love every single moment of it. They're fleeting moments, like I said um, a couple of minutes ago. I think this is a, a blanket for him. This is at Avalon. Um, essentially, it's a, a blanket. Uh Obviously, Hermes, the stitching on this, we have to cut to a close up of this. Um, let me get this out of the bag. Just even the way that it's folded, as I pull this out, I hope you can, you can see how it's presented in this. There is a support inside the box, um, the, the pillows that you would expect uh, if, if this were a bag, um, because the experience of unboxing something, you know, going back. So I cover technology. I cover, um, beverage. I cover food, uh, being a chef. I, I worry as I plate something on the plate, every second that that plate isn't in front of the person it's meant for. I worry about it. I absolutely stress out. We, we stand in the kitchen. Did the, did the guests get their food, um, delivery? during the COVID times is absolutely killing us. I've got so many gray hairs <laughs> on, on the, uh, I do need to shave actually, but I, so many gray hairs. We stress out from the second that it hits the box for takeout, the second it hits the plate for, for dine-in until the second it's seen and tasted by our guests. So this absolutely, I appreciate as I pull this out, please notice how perfectly folded. And from my standpoint here, I'll try to do a, a, a turnaround of it and then we'll get to cut to a close up. Absolutely perfect. The fleeting moments, the reason why a Japanese watermelon costs $200. The reason why when I, when I take the foil off of the, um, this Mizunara Oak aged whiskey by Kayo, as I see that oak top for the first time, you can't take those moments away. It's it's almost like seeing child born, but nothing can touch it. 
Nothing can touch that. But but um, so let me pull this out. Let me pull this out. It's fleeting moments. I'm, I'm turning it into very long drawn out moments. Sorry, but I, I just absolutely can't. Okay, let me put this down. Don't worry, it's not going to touch the ground. Um, we'll do a close up of this, but the way that it's folded, and get this, as I cut to where my right hand is, oh, look at that. I can see it in the reflection of the lens. This is like you, and, and there are a lot of great hotel properties out there. We used to like to stay uh, years ago, the Ritz, um, you know, wherever you stay, uh, you've got a lot of fine properties out there, Waldorf, et cetera. As you enter that room, the goal of the property is to make sure that everything is pristine. As I open this box, everything is pristine. Um, you know, I, again, we'll see in the close up, but the way that this is folded and I'm sure, you know, whoever folded this, if you're watching the video, I'm so sorry, but I'm trying to hold this as best I can. It's absolutely perfect. And you can't ask for anything more than that. Um, I do want to, uh, I, I believe this is, so this is for our son and let me just pull up real quick. Um, the dimensions of that. So this is the Avalon uh, baby blanket. The dimensions of it are, and I love the color of this, perfect for the fall. Talked about the oak. I love the contrast um, with the uh, broom um, coin purse. So for the baby blanket, uh, this measures, and thank you, for Hermes, for giving me inches uh, because I'm an American and... Uh, I, I depend on uh, the metric system. So 39 inches by 55 inches. Um, for those of you listening, oh, and, and it's 90% merino wool and 10% cashmere. I think that's such a great mix. Um, Kenji, you better, better not draw on that. It's fine. It's fine if you do. You can't help it. Um, but uh, I want to just let you know that the, the full size Avalon throw. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, that measures, um, 53 inches by 67 inches. So I want to throw that out there. Um, since I have my phone in my hand, um, it's the same mix, 90% uh, wool, 10% cashmere. Um, but it's a little bit larger. So, um, this is absolutely beautiful. I think this is going to be a timeless piece. You know, everyone grows up with their favorite blanket. Um, Kenji, I hope you, uh, you remember this, uh, because, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, we've talked a lot about fleeting moments tonight. You will only be a baby once. Um, you will only be able to cuddle. If you cuddle in this as a 30 year old, um, I don't know. That may be kind of strange because this is baby sized. Um, uh, but you can actually, um, uh, you know, if you weren't using this in the crib, um, throw this over the back of the uh, um, uh, the couch or, or your chair, and it's actually a really, really great size. I think the smaller size is much better because if you if you have too large, obviously you can fold it up. Um, but the tidy size, uh, especially we, we need most of our stuff is is fairly uh, fairly minimal or, or, or um, modernist. And um, having something that's way too large um, may, may be kind of overbearing. So um, the, the feel of this and yeah, absolutely the stitching is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, very Hermes. I've never seen um, any other uh, uh, brand craft this well. And if they do, and as we, as we, as you view the, the close up. Um, if they do this type of stitching, it may not last that long. Uh, so this is very daring stitching uh, for those of you that you know, may know the name of what the stitching is called. Um, you probably know a lot more than I do, but um, 
you can rest assured that from Irmaz, this will stand the test of time. Um, our son Kenji will be using this when he's, and yeah, hopefully not thirty. Hopefully, he's passing this on to his um, his child. And um, for that, those fleeting moments, but that timelessness, the joining of those things is absolutely um, what what these these things in front of me are about. Um, the 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 timelessness of a distillery, Cayo will do this for generations. Um, they'll age this for years. But the fleeting moment is me unwrapping that, opening the top for the for the very first time, and taking that very first sip. That's the fleeting moment. But a lot of time went into it. A lot of time went into crafting this coin purse. But the fleeting moment is me seeing that for the very first time. Um, but all these things are timeless. Um, when my father passed away a couple of years ago, um, we, we had, we had a bottle of, um, of liquor, uh, at his funeral and I still have that bottle of liquor. So, um, fleeting moments, please remember that, but the timelessness of this craft is what makes those moments possible. Um, so I, I, I don't want to end on a somber note. I, I think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, just the, the craftsmanship, um, that goes into this, we had a, a ship the, the today's shipment and today's episode was delayed. This is all supposed to arrive at the same time. Um, I'm glad it was kind of broken up because this is a lot of stuff. We had a, um, Kelly mini pochette that we had unboxed in episode one. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, my wife hasn't touched it. It's still got the uh, uh, protective covering on it. Um, we have the Hermes coin purse in broom, which I plan on um, commandeering if that's okay. Not like we're going many places. Um, and we have uh, from last time the uh, Oran uh, charm. Um, and, and today we've added to that. I actually do hope that Hermes makes a left or wrong. It's okay. <laughs> I have a feeling they're all going to be right, right feet, but that's okay. We all have two right feet. Um, uh, this is in noir. Tonight's is in noir. And lastly, we have, uh, the Avalon, uh, baby's blanket and, um, and to pair with all this, um, we have the Cayo Mizunara Oak Aged. It's been an absolutely um, beautiful night for me. I'm honored to be able to have all these things in front of me. And I thank you for joining. Cheers. Be well.